My name is Sharon Adisa, the founder and head of digital at Kendesk Digital Services. Uh, so at Kendesk, we offer businesses and busy professionals content creation services. This is content for website, blogs, social media, company profiles, just any content that will enhance your brand. We also uh, manage their social media platforms and offer virtual assistant services. Uh, so we have our platforms on Facebook, uh, on Twitter, on Instagram. We have a website, we have a blog where we share uh, insights about the industry, news, and even uh, market people's products on the blog. The digital marketing tools we use for our business uh, are also actually our sources of revenue. Uh, for example, we run ads on our social media platforms for businesses, that is social media, uh, our blog, we do content like blog sponsored blog posts. You can put banner ads on our blog. Uh, if you have a digital campaign, you want to push maybe a certain topic, most specifically in the tech industry, uh, we are also there to help you push it through our Twitter. Uh, and all this is generating revenue for us. Then the, those clients maybe who just want social media management on a monthly basis, so this is subscription based, you can also subscribe uh, for us to handle your social media. As a growing tech SME in this country, there are so many challenges that we face. Our first is to do, of course, with the internet access. Uh, since our services rely heavily on the digital space, uh, low internet access means you are not accessing our services or we can't access you as our customer. Uh, then we have the regulatory framework that is in place and this is to do uh, first with the digital service tax that was introduced. It is still very vague for tech SMEs like us who don't know how to uh, put our operations in line with the, uh, the digital service tax. Then of course there is the data and privacy law that is in place. Even as we do our operations, are we respecting the rights of our customers by not maybe sharing their sensitive data? As an entrepreneur, we know this journey is not as easy uh, as it may look maybe from the outside. Walking the journey, you'll realize there are so many ups and downs. Just recently, the COVID pandemic came up and so many of us maybe had to close down our businesses. But as I always say, there's always an opportunity in every adversity. There are so many now even platforms and apps and solutions coming up as a result of COVID. And that is where the entrepreneur should be, trying to find an opportunity even where there seems to be an adversity.